Hey you guys, it's Shannon. I'm back in my onesie for a slumber party. So I hope you're in your jams. I hope you're cozy because I'm about to tell you a crazy motherfucking story. I'm going to tell you about how I beat men for money. Huge disclaimer before I start this video. If you get offended easily or you don't have a sense of humor and you're just here to like make a negative comment, just click out of this video because you are not going to like it. So you guys are probably wondering like what in the world is she talking about? Well, it all started a long time ago and I got a phone call from my agent and he was just like, there's a really big company that wants to hire you to do some videos. There's no sex involved. It's just like all fetish stuff. And I immediately said no because I was very uneducated about the fetish world. I knew nothing about it and uh, I just didn't feel comfortable doing it on camera. And for those of you guys that think that there's no acting in porn, there is. It's not just like you go to set and have sex and that's it. Like that's not really how it works. Um, there is acting involved and I didn't want to be put in a position with a script that I had no idea about, didn't have time to prep for, etc. So I said no. We ended up hanging up. He called the company back and said she's not comfortable doing it. And the company basically was really persistent and said, we want to hire her. We don't want to hire anybody else. Uh, you know, we'll double her rate. And so when he called me back and said, they're going to double your rate, they really want to book you, I was just like, oh, fine. I have to set, and my job for that day was to beat men, and I was going to get paid. And I was just like, this is crazy. I don't want to do this. Like, this is so weird. Like, I was afraid to hurt them. I don't know, just like, <laughs> I know that it's acting, but it was really hard for me to, like, get into that character of being, like, this evil, mean person that would, like, want to harm people. I was just like, Shannon, you're acting. You just have to act. It's not really who you are. You're just going to do it. And I was like, okay, whatever. I ended up talking to the producer, and he was really cool, and he, like, real walked me through everything. The, the actors that were there were really into, like, this type of stuff, and they liked it and they got like enjoyment from it and so I just had to think of it that way. I got my script. I ended up shooting that day and we did some crazy things like legit crazy things like I stepped on like naked guys in like high heel stilettos like digging my heels into their skin like it's just like really fucked up stuff and it sounds so crazy but there was something about it that I was just like this is so interesting to me. People actually like this and it was just like this whole other world that I was opened up to and at first I just thought it was weird and gross and like I didn't want to have anything to do with it and then after I did it I was like that was really fun I want to do it again and so I ended up becoming a contract girl for that company and if you go, don't know what a contract girl is, it's basically where a company will pay you a set amount per month to only shoot with their company. So uh, that meant I didn't have to do like porn anymore. I didn't have to like have sex with anybody. It was just like all acting and basically beating men for money. And you know, a lot of it was like foot fetish stuff and other things like that. But majority of it was like beating guys, like full on beating them, like whipping them, very like humiliating, horrible things to these guys. And I know that like when you hear that, it sounds so fucked up. Like, oh my God, Shannon, like you're such a nice person. How could you do that? And the only way for me to describe it is like, well, it was acting and that's not really who I am. It was a character that I was playing. And this like totally ties into a lot of the rumors that were, have been going around about me. Like, uh, you know, rumors and guru gossip and people that like to talk bad about me, um, you know, always bring up the fetish stuff that I've done and like how awful and horrible it is. No good person can do that. And the only thing that I can say is like, it's just like in a movie, somebody playing the villain or a bad guy, like they're not really like that in person, like in real life. That's just the character that they're playing on camera. And even though it's like adult based, it's the same thing. The same exact thing. I don't go around and get pleasure out of like beating guys for no money. You know what I mean? I don't do that in my personal life. And I'm not saying there's anything bad to the people that do do that in their personal life because, you know, to each their own, I'm the last person to judge someone. I ended up doing that and like totally veering from doing like porn, like sex porn, to just straight fetish stuff. And it was actually really fun for me because I got to do stuff I had never done before and like do things that you would never be able to do in real life. I have done some crazy fucking shit. I basically beat men for money for a really long time and I don't do it anymore. Obviously YouTube is my full-time job now, despite rumors and what people say. I have to say it was a really cool experience to be able to do some of those things. So to rewind a little bit, when I got contracted with this really big fetish company, they moved me into like this uh, like manor house, like kind of like a mansion house up in the hills. and. 
I got to live there and it was really awesome. So will call them model houses or contract houses. And I know a lot of people are like, she has so many story times, like she's lying. She can't have that many crazy stories. I could tell like five stories a day if I wanted to. That's like how many crazy stories. I've just had like a very crazy, exciting, fun life. And no, it hasn't always been like fun, but I tell the good stories and I tell the bad stories. You guys want to hear more crazy stories from how I used to beat men for money or, you know, living in the house or like the craziest thing I ever did. Um, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be happy to make those videos for you guys and just some exciting news. I'm still friends with a lot of the people that worked on those fetish videos like the owner and the producers and the stylists and all of them and they have these pumpkin carving parties at the Mean Girl Manor up in the hills and we are actually going to a pumpkin carving party and I decided that I am going to vlog that for you. If they let me, I'll uh, film a little bit inside, introduce you to some people, show you guys around a little bit. It might be dark but I'm gonna try my best. So uh, look out for that vlog tomorrow because I am going to try to film it, edit it, and get it up the very next day for you guys. If you wanna see more crazy stories of my crazy life, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below that you like this video, that you wanna see more, give me suggestions on what you want me to film. I am sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy. I hope you guys all have an amazing Halloween and I hope to see you on my next video. Mwah!